Just look at that sun again, it's so bright! Uh-oh. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, where I attempt to get a cannon for Linebeck's ship. And I believe I know how, if I can just throw that freaking thing instead of dropping it. Alright. This, this is one of those things that needs the touch screen. Well, there goes that. Screw that. You guys don't mind if I... There we go, okay. Hope you guys don't mind if I use the save state to prevent myself from getting injured further. Cause that would suck otherwise, you know? I didn't tell you to let go of it. You idiot. Hmm. Now let's see. How do I get out of this? Wait, oh, of course. You just do this. How come he just... He just does not want to keep hold of it. It's weird. Okay, so all I gotta do is do this. Simple, right? Wait a minute. It's probably not so easy, is it? How would this even work? Oh. Duh. Now I've got it. And now I need another bomb. And hope that I get to it in time. There we go, okay. With a few seconds to spare, actually. So that's good. Ouch. Wow, it's a good thing my shield blocked those. Or they were just too far away to do me damage. I did not ask you to do that, Link, although, in retrospect, I may have accidentally. These controls can be confusing, you know? There you go. Dang it. Dag nabbit. Jerk. Little freaks. There, come on. That's not what I meant to do, but... As long as I don't get hurt in the process, I'm okay. What the? There's gonna be blocks up ahead, aren't there? I get the feeling. Well, those kind of blocks don't really require bombs, so... I'm probably good. Although they do require me to actually know what I'm doing. Which is probably a tall order, considering it's me we're talking about here. Good. Some more of those. Y'all got any more of them hearts? That'd be nice. I mean, rupees are pretty cool, but hearts. Hearts are just where it's at, you know? See? The game agrees with me. Edo's Garage. Cool. Ah, okay. Okay, I gotta throw it across the fence, don't I? Because there's no way you're gonna go all the way around in time. That would just be ridiculous. And even then, it's gonna be tricky. Dang. Oh, wait. You just jump. Oh, just in time, too. Oh, did you see that? Did you see those skills? They may not pay the bills, but they are certainly skills. And those are allergies causing me to sneeze. Yes, yes, I'm the owner of the shop, Ito. What do you want? What? You demand a cannon? <laughs> you impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons. For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then know that my cannons are works of explosive art, crafted from choice parts. So you'd better believe that you're going to cough up big rubies for one. Had the guts to hear how much? Yes. <laughs> Don't blame me if you drop a load of rupees on my shop. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guys. I'm serious. I'm gonna say it. It's going for the steep price of... 50 rupees. 
You big enough to pony up 50 whole rubies? Stunned? Yeah, did you think you were dealing with small potatoes here? Ha! <laughs> I mean, 50 rubies will buy you a whole lot of the good life on this aisle. No one can blame you if you can't pay it. Buy it? That's really not that much, but I was expecting it. I was expecting him to hype it up and he'd be like, Well, oh, it's two rupees. What? Where did you get 50 rupees? Doesn't matter, I guess, just as long as you cough up the cash. Okay, take it. You've got the cannon. This part from Ito fits on the deck of your ship. Next, I'm going to devise a salvage arm that can pull treasure from the seafloor. See you later, shrimp. Just use the, do the door there to get back to the dock. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. More or less. Special delivery! Watch out, incoming! This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Link! Ahem. Here's what it says. I'm gonna read your mail because I do that. To Link. If you're getting this, I guess that my new postman is working out. So far. So I'd like to make an unusual request. He's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent and as efficient as they come. I've got no complaints. I want to keep it that way. So be nice to the postman. He really is a good kid. From the postmaster. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read it out loud. Anyway, sign here, will you? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> a lot of scribbles. Good, that wraps it up. See you later. You take too long, man. Good news, Linebeck. You got the cannon? Looks like I finished my nap uh, repairs just in time. You ready to ship out, Link? You're damn right. I take it I have to go all the way there to actually be able to slap the cannon on, right? Just tap anything you see, and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast with it, kid. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that we had it already. Dang. That golden one is still going to be tricky. Oh, look! I got it! Oof! You got me! Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that, Ribbit? See you around the pond. I figured it would have some kind of specialty to it. Alrighty then, let's go to the northwest. Turn hard to port. Turn hard to port! I have to imagine Lineback is saying this stuff. You guys don't mind if I fast forward, right? No, I hope I can't. Of course you do. You know. That is so cool. Uh oh. One of those weird things we call a sea trap just emerged, Link. We're on a collision course! So two options, blast each thing or jump the thing! Time at the right, then tap the jump arrow at the bottom of the screen to leap. Uh-oh. Dang it. Oh, it's just a scratch, right? Dang it. Oh, right. Okay, that's the jump. My bad. Maybe I should have been paying attention. Did you really think you were a match for me? I mean, really. What? What made you think you stood in the sort of a chance against me? You do not stand a chance against Linebeck! And his little buddy! And hang on a minute, Link. Look! C -c Could that be the... Ghost ship. It has surfaced at last! The ghost ship! I can't believe that we're laying eyes on it! Let's follow it! Let's go get that treasure! Blow it out of the sea. Hey, come back here! Enemy sighted! Nice, he gave me a green heart. Get back here! Huh? The fog is thickening! Be careful now, Link! This fog is maddening! Sorry, I may have been a little over eager. Don't let it escape, Link! Yeah, it's not gonna be that quick. Go scuttle that blasted thing pronto! Keep us on course, Link! 
it's right there. It's not even moving. Hurry, Link! Keep us on course, Link! It's headed that direction, I think. So let's follow it. Hurry, Link! Enemy sighted! Where's the enemy? Oh, there's the enemy. There we go. Do I just have to keep going that way? Okay then. That ghost ship seems to be summoning allies to defend itself. And that way, it's the ghost ship! Wow, this fog is really annoying, isn't it? A true man of the sea won't give up that easily! Let's keep going north. Oh, it's going that way. Keep course! Our turn to port! But what? The fog! This is ridiculous! What? What happened? We were chugging along, making headway there. Bah, you think maybe... Not that I hear about that. Oh yeah, it's always surrounded by infernal fog. And that fog leads ships horribly astray. I think it's best that we beat the hasty retreat, Link. Maybe someone on one of the nearby islands knows the way through this fog. Possibly. You know, like the one over there. That might be good. We should probably go where we were gonna go in the first place. I don't think so, little buddy. Ha 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 ha! Take that, you prick. Gotta love that ghost ship theme, that's really cool. Oh. Oh, okay, you can't go back, you can't go that far, can you? Dang. So that means there's no point in flailing. We're blind as a bat in the bucket. Enemy sighted. Where are you? Oh, you prick. Enemy sighted. I don't see a dang thing. Hey, asleep at the wheel? Well, where are the islands? I can't even get to a nearby island. I can't see a drastic thing. Prick. You stupid prick. You're going to pay dearly for that. No, no, not that. Not that way. Dang it. For some reason, my aim is veering itself. Maybe if I cut through those, it'll help. Although, probably not. Come on, let's do this. Oh, okay, crap. Well, I'm, uh, I'm an inch from death already. Not good. Okay, just ignore it. Ah, okay, never mind. Well, that was unfortunate. Continue. Oh boy, did I screw it up? Do I have to go through that again? All right, hang tight real quick. Okay, maybe this island is the key. Possibly. That's a distinct possibility, yeah. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do you want to ship out? No. Then go take care of things and let's ship out soon. This is the only island nearby. Hey, a new face! Welcome to Melita Island! Lots of island guys are off fishing, but you'll still find many of us at work here. Have you seen the northern sea lately? That awful fog and that ghost ship? Scary! It's better not to think of the northwestern sea. Or you'll get the shivers! Well, unfortunately, I have no choice but to think about it. Have you entered the foggy passage to the north? No matter what you do, it seems like there's no way through the fog, right? 
Every time you brave that accursed fog, you'll be sent back to your original spot. But Romanos, who lives on the village edge, had a father who got through it. No one dares to try to figure it out, not since the ghost ship was seen in the fog. Awesome, thanks for the tip. Special delivery, watch out, incoming. It's a letter from Astrid. Ahem. Oh, I can't wait. Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your recent help. Try as I might to express my gratitude in words, I can't not do it justice. If there's anything I can do in return, please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that some of my modest means might have little to offer, but I believe that I can at least show you the way should you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir, then I'm out of here. Thanks. I'm sure that was a lot of help. Although the village edge is somewhere over there. Young man, you mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. And be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. What are you talking about? After all I've been through so far, you guys don't think I can do it. Need something, kid? What? You want to travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your own way, too. Yes. Oh, really? Do it your way. Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage. All this endless babbling about living with a lust for adventure. Can that put food on the table? Can that make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way's a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese, that's a life. Yeah, Isle of Gus, don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Wait, kid, come back. What do you want this time? This better be good. Sorry to unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots of things about going his own way to explore. And I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gust. He said something about a specific route for getting through that foggy passage, but only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there, but it's dangerous in there, so take care of yourself, kid. Okay, uh, your husband just gave me permission, so you better let me through. Young man, you mustn't go to that cave. That'd be a good boy, don't get... Oh, what? Well, if my son... Oh, that's your son, sorry. Well, if my son has said it's all right, then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? But please, don't do anything too dangerous. Trust me, you're way too late for that. I've been doing dangerous things this entire time. You're just now noticing. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can't get to me that easily, you stupid bats. I see. Whoa, okay, fish monster. I, I get it. You gotta wait until his guard is down. It's like those, it's like those guardian monsters from Finish Cap. You gotta wait until they attack and then their guard is down. Then again, that's in a lot of Zelda games, isn't that I've noticed? Like Stalfalos on Ocarina of Time. It seems to be a reoccurring theme. You gotta wait until they drop their guard first. Oh, okay. Here I thought I would have to use the boomerang to somehow do it, but nope. I should have realized it's not a blow up of a wall. Hello, buddy. Hey, old buddy, old pal. Trick. Douchebag. Nice. I'm full on health. Who knew that was possible? I did. Because I've... I've been that way before. Frick. Douche. If I have to, I will spin attack. Dang it. There you go. What's in here? What are you hiding? You got the shovel! Tap a spot to dig there. Dig in suspicious places. This must be the place that Romano's dad called his hideaway. But I haven't seen any clues how to get through the foggy passage. There's a book on the desk, Link. Go and tap the book to read it. My journal. I'm writing this wall in a private space I call my hideaway. Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. And it will stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. 
Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. It's under the spot where the lines drawn between my stone tablets intersect. It's brilliant if I do say so myself. What? Stone tablets? Okay. Cool. Wayfarer's words, number three. But the Isle of Gust was one of many islands beyond that foggy passage. I will see them all. It's my live stream. It's the only way to live. Cool. I'm happy for you, man. Ah, there's another one. Now, let's see. If I draw on my map... So this... I, mar I just marked that. And then I go to the other one, and then where they meet up, it's apparently the right spot. Now, let's see. Actually. This, would, this should be like this. Because that way... If they intersect... Wait, nope. I'm not very good at drawing, especially with my right hand. I'm more of a left-handed guy. At least when it comes to writing. There we go. But I can do it well enough. Hopefully. There you go. Kaboom! Kaboom! I know where your secret hideout is. You can't hide it from me. Clever old timer. It's right here, isn't it? More or less. But how am I going to unearth it? Pick it up, man. Wait. Maybe it's the tree. Nah, couldn't be. Now think. Wasn't there another spot that I saw a stone tablet? Yep, right here. Oh. I see. Yep, where they all intersect. So that would just... That would just further conclude that it is right there somewhere. It's interesting, but I think I need a bomb or something to actually unearth it, you know? Not sure where I would get one of... Oh. Maybe I just need the shovel. Hmm. Shovel! What am I doing? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's glitching. I see. I wonder if I can do anything about that. There's only one way to find out, right? Okay, unrealistically high line hack. I wonder if that did anything. Nope, didn't do any didn't do any good. My bad. Obviously I can't dig a tree. No link. Dig the space around it. Oh, okay. So that's where it was. To my son, Romanus. If you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway. Which means you have also developed a desire to find your own way in life. Know that I'm terribly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father, leaving you both behind. There's so much about the ways of the world I don't understand, such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where does its victims go? I have decided to de de dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother, and please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your, fair -waying, your wayfaring ways, my son. Here we go. Yep. So that's the path. You gotta go all the way around and do a loop-de-loop? -loop? Okay, that's needlessly complicated. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta do this. You gotta go all the way around here. Do a loop-de-loop -loop for some stupid reason, and then... That's how you achieve victory, apparently. Magical, right? You've got a treasure map! 
sweet. Thanks. That'll come in handy if I ever get a salvage arm. When I get a salvage arm. I don't think so, buddy. Your electricity has to run out sometime. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door, Link. I'm guessing no. You need a... Hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening, but there's something about the crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why not draw this emblem on your map so you can remember it later on? Okay. It's just a sun. There's really not much to it. Except showing that I draw terribly with my right hand. Dang it. I don't think so, buddy. You're not getting the better of me that easily. Good news, Linebeck. I have figured out the mystery. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome for solving the mystery, yeah. What? You actually know how to reach the Northern Sea? The route was written on a map, was it? Please tell me you wrote it on a chart. So did you write it down? How about we shove off then? The fog awaits. You damn right I wrote it down. <laughs> There's no way I was gonna remember that. I'm not that smart. You overestimate my intelligence if you think I can remember that. Let's just blow up those barrels prematurely to make sure that nothing will happen. Oh, it's a tornado. Well, I managed to blow it completely away now. Cool. Full speed ahead, Capitan. Brick. Hit the gold frog. Oh, I hit it. Oof, you got me. Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. I'm guessing if you shoot, if you get all of them, you get something. You get a prize or something. That would be my guess. Let's do this. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's, that's gotta be the most intimidating Santa Claus ever. Ho, 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 ho. Let's do this. I should probably not do this too fast because I'll probably end up destroying the boat. You know, like that. Take that, you prick. Die, ye miserable sea scarvies. Yee, barnacles! Drastic thing! Get out of my way! Ah, oh, man. I don't want to just- I don't want to blow them up because I end up getting very close to them, but then I end up just crashing into them anyway. So, what's the point? Okay, let's do this. As fast as possible. Let's just rush through this. Because that'll that's a great way to not die, right? Just rushing through it. Before I even know what hit me. Well, at least I blew up that barrel. As soon as an enemy is spotted, I'm gonna get out of fast forward because I have no choice. I don't wanna die. Oh, you prick. That one's actually pretty hard. If you don't know. If you don't know where to shoot right away. If you're like me, you tend to panic a lot. There you go, you arse. What do you think of me now, dirtbag? Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. I gotta make this quick. Take this, ghost ship. Ouch. Frick. Uh-oh, sorry. Sorry, Lineback. I should probably be more careful. Dang. There, we're out of the fog. Just 
just look at that sun again. It's so bright. Uh oh. I gotta be fast about killing enemies now. Or they'll kill me. Okay, we've made it to island, and unfortunately I gotta go. It's it's that time. So I made it through and now I'm at the island of Gust. Whoa, we finally made it to the island. But this sure is one gusty isle. Yep, surely this has got to be the Isle of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how about you go fly off in search of my next spirit? Well, I just sit here and do nothing. As always. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like hot air. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.